request on we'll go live within what's up hey hey what's going on you staying safe man trying to yeah it's it's I'm getting like... difficult because we've been here we've been in here for a while the, the, the anxiety is creeping up on me. At first, I didn't understand, like, a month in. I was like, why is everybody so anxious to get out the house? But, like, it's creeping up on me now. It's getting Man. bad. <laughs> Same. I was like, just stay in, you know? Like, yeah. the, second, the virus is over. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah. <laughs> no, I appreciate you having me, though, for real. No, thank you for joining us. Yeah. I appreciate it. Taking out the time. Of course. Talk to us. So what, what you been doing during this quarantine? Like, with my boy right now, got the mm. ping pong going, mm. hey. trying to figure it out. But now, outside of that, I've just been recording, really. I'm working on my second project. Uh, the first project I had was titled August. I did that when I was, like, 19. I'm tw I just turned 21 in March. So I'm um, just working on this second project right now, wrapping it up, getting ready for the summer. I feel it. I feel it. Mm -hmm. So you've been, like, super creative in the house? or? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, it was... It's more like, um, especially me being a new artist, even though I'm I'm new, you know, there's still like just the pressures of like, you know, beating your last project or just following up with like the certain records that I have out now. But like the, I don't know, the pandemic is kind of like a blessing and a curse because it's just like I got more time to really sit and think about what I want to do, get the right songs. I, I don't feel like I'm rushing at all. Like it kind of worked out for the better. Like I think I'm, you know, I'm super close. I want to say like I'm like 90% done. So, yeah. I feel that someone someone has a question. They said, "How do you use your voice, and you're you're able to emulate other artists?" Um, I think it's just how I how I grew up. You know, it's just like certain artists I've been inspired by. Whether it's I have to say like just from old school, you know, Lauren Hill, um, certain people like that. I think like even like super. You know, I'm not the best singer. I'm just I just know how to hold a note and saying hey, it's But like um. As far as like new artists go, I think in the late 2000s, it was, you know, it was the the Ables, the Weekends, Drakes, the Parties, and those guys. And it's just like just seeing how um, everything went from just either rapping or singing and seeing how they could do both. And, you know, it's, um, I think I think the, the best artists coming up always like take certain pieces from, you know, the great artists and then figure out how to emulate that into their own sound, like weave that into their own sound. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. It, mm -hmm. Is there like some of that in your new music that's dropping? You know, pulling in the in those inspirations. Oh, all the time. I just think it's a natural. It's not something forced. Like I don't go into any song like, okay, this is how yeah. I want to like go about it. It's just more right. like just how I think my sound was created. Like you always got to get credit to um the people that came before you. The same mm -hmm. way, like I hope there'll be the uh, artists younger than me that'll take something from what I've, what I've created. But um, no, I always, um, I mean, one thing I don't do though is when I'm making a project, I don't listen to any other artist's music just cause it can be hard sometimes. Like, especially if your favorite, you know, if you got an artist and their favorite song comes on, like you can find yourself saying something in the, in your own song. Right. It's like, so no, nah, but um, there's always inspiration though. But um, like, always, I think that'd be like that for my whole career. Just, you know, taking from certain people and seeing how I can make it myself. It's the same with sports. You know, like and how athletes do the same thing. So yeah, it's just you know nature for. Real. I feel that. I feel that. Has this whole like quarantine situation affected how you're like inspired in any way? Um, as far as going, like as far as like you know going out and being around people and having those face to face experiences, I think it's just been a little stagnant on that end, but in other ways I make up for it in the house, watching certain movies. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been on like this big Quentin Tarantino vibe, just watching all his movies. I think the Once Upon, have you seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Yes. Crazy. Okay. I didn't even know it was a, uh, it was based off of Charles, Charles, is my Charles Mason or what's his name? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it was based off of um, like his whole real life thing, but like he put a twist on it. But like just getting inspired by things like that kind of make up for not being around people you know especially like right. with my music a lot of it is like about certain girls relationships mm -hmm. um just making up for it in the house like inspiring yourself it's really I, feel it. that. Mm -hmm. I feel that so how do you stay in contact with like family friends i feel like everything's just yeah. different now 
Yeah, I mean, just the phone, the same way we do it now, for real. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think I think we on the phone more than, you know, we see people sometimes, especially with family and friends. I think artists know it the most. Uh, right now, I'm like, like I'm with my parents, I'm with my family at, at the, their home, in the hometown, right. just chilling and stuff. Um, but I mean, as far as my friends go, it's just the game, you know, like FaceTime, all that stuff. That's really, yeah, I see everybody doing the Zoom calls now. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same as far as that goes. Yeah, I feel that, I feel that. Yeah. Do you do you feel like there's a pressure to like be on social more because you are a Um, I think I see artists taking advantage of not being around people by using social media. I think Kaylani is doing it the best right now. Mm. Just seeing how she went about the quarantine videos. I right. think that's a whole wave right now that people need to take advantage of. But as far as pressure, nah. I think um I think as long as the music is going to do what it do, regardless, if it's good, people are going to relate to it, whether you are on social media or not. I think it's an advantage, um, and it does help and benefit, but there's no pressure now. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. So when it comes to, like, the new music, when mm -hmm. is it dropping? Everybody want to know. <laughs> nah. <I think> we're <laughs> well, we look, we looking at the um the summertime, for sure. Yeah. I'm gearing up for the summer. Like, actually, um, I got some, just putting the final touches, like, you know, getting certain paperwork done for certain songs and just getting ready to start rolling this stuff out. Um, I'm, I think this is probably like the longest I'll probably take on a project. I think I'm going on like a year and a half, almost two years. But like, um, I got anxiety. My, I'm just anxious to get it out. But yeah, definitely a summer. That's sure. what's up. The people ready. Is it going to be some like summer anthems on there? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mix of both. You know, I still got like that pocket I'm in or it still has like, um, it's rap, but like those R&B touches. I'm still hitting like certain experiences I've been through in the past two years mm -hmm. um, with girls and I still got the summer anthems and stuff to turn up to. Like my biggest thing is just having both, you know? Yeah, um, yeah that's pretty much it. But it'll be a little bit of everything yeah. for sure. Is it important for you to have both, like show off different like styles and be versatile? Yeah, of course. I, I feel like um, those are the best artists. It's just being able to do a little bit of everything. But at the same time, it's just, I think, um, I know what I'm capable of and like how versatile I am. Like, so I'll never show all my cards at once. You know, it's just like, okay. I know what, I know what pocket I'm in right now. I know what people want to hear. And I also know what I could like sprinkle into my next project that's new. You know, so yes, yeah, it's, it's both. I think it's important though. I feel that, I feel that. Mm -hmm. How you've been maintaining your like sanity during this whole thing. Like what you've been doing to maintain your like mental health. Staying in the crib, the hands <laughs> I, I'm already a germaphobe. Like I wipe yeah. down stuff anyway. I spray down stuff anyway. Okay. But like, um, outside of being in the house, like if I go to stores or some, especially with my parents, like sometimes I'll try to go if they can't go, or um, just you know just the mask, wiping things down, just stuff like I kind of already been doing. But just staying away from people for real. I really like outside of my family. I'm paranoid. Yeah, I feel <laughs> you know? that. I feel yeah. that. Same here. Like I'm yeah. like. I don't really trust anything anymore. Yeah. You've been staying in the house a lot? Or have you been, like, trying to find time outside at all? Staying in the house. Like, yeah. I, I'm already a homebody. So this right, is, like, exactly. my safe haven already. So I'm yeah. like, this is, this is home. I'm yeah. Listening. No, I'm comfortable for sure. But it is, like, now that I got, like, videos I got to finish and certain things, it is an anxiety, like, mm -hmm. just thinking about, like, okay, how am I going to do this? with certain people and you got to think about where they've been and right. all that. But no, I think every, everything's going to work out. And I think uh, um, by the end of the year, I hope yeah. at least everything starts clearing up. When you feel anxious, what do you do to like calm yourself down and like center yourself? Um, I mean, I, at the same, even when I'm anxious, I kind of realize like, I try not to think about things that's not in my control. You know, it's just mm -hmm. like, there's nothing I can do but stay in the house. It's like, so it's kind of like, I'll be anxious for a minute, whether it's like stepping outside, going into a store, but it's like all these people are going through the same thing, you know? So I think it's just um, kind of helping each other, really. Just I think the distance is just big. It's, we fighting something we can't see. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing for Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Someone's asked, do you watch anime? Nah, there's one movie. You know that, do you watch anime? I don't watch anime. I'll be looking for recommendations though, always. I think is there a is there a movie called like Spirited Away or something? Have you ever seen that? No. It's the craziest it's one of the craziest movies I've ever seen. It makes zero sense to me. But that's like probably the 
I'll say, is Dragon Ball Z considered anime? Dragon Ball Z is considered anime. I consider it anime. So, like, when I'm recording and stuff, I know nothing about Dragon Ball Z. I thought they were going to put it on Netflix, but they never did. But when I'm recording, sometimes I'll have it playing, like, the fights playing on the TV. Okay. I just like watching it. But, no, I don't really watch it. But I saw this movie Spirited Away one time with my homie, and it was just, like, it was super weird. But it was cool, though. I got to get into it whenever I find time. For sure, for sure. Yeah, everybody's yeah. like, that was crazy. <laughs> Oh, people are saying it? Yeah, yeah that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Somebody from my team, right? Uh, Riley's in here. And she is saying that. Spirit of the Ways. Yeah, but you got to watch that movie. If you haven't, that's, I think that's a good starter. Just watch it now. For sure. Mm -hmm. Someone has um, Name of the New Project. Oh, I can't get that away yet. <gasps> give me, give me like, give me like, <laughs> give me like two, give me like two weeks. Give me like two, two and maybe a month at the latest but like it's just a i'm real strategic with this lineup i gotta like put it out the way i want to put it out so yeah i can't say it right now i'm sorry i wonder who asked that oh man oh man let me yeah. see any features uh -oh, i flipped it boom yeah. any like exciting features that you're working on on the new <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get, you know I, everybody's I, asking so i'm just you know a um, messenger here <laughs> i got uh, <laughs> I, I got I'll say I'll say this. It's um it's three features on 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 the project from what I from what I think it's three features for sure. Um, I think they're all girls, and um, there might be yeah. I think no, I think they're all girls, but and they're people that that are on fire right now. Like it's dope, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it's dope, and like oh, I got some, big. I got some, I got some ideas for sure. And of course, uh, Bryson's on there with nowhere to run. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a sign. I'm gonna I'm I'm get back in the live with you guys like a month from now, and then I can, I'll spill everything. Yes, you have yeah, to. Let's do it. I'm, of I'm course. I'm it out of you now. I know, I know, I know, I know. No, my my management wouldn't appreciate. My team wouldn't appreciate that right now, but it's all <laughs> love. Though. I'm gonna make, make sure y'all one of the first to know for sure. Hey, that's for everything. a sign. That's mm -hmm. a sign. Appreciate it for sure. Of course. Um, someone asked, "What artist do you want to collab with?" Um. Let's see. I'll, I'll go. Uh, I'll name the. I'll name the girls first. So as far as somebody that I just have like no type of relations with, mm -hmm. um, that's kind of left field for me with what I make right now. But I think Doja Cat. Like, <sighs> I think Doja Cat's just fire. She leaked some on her live a couple of days ago. That was just crazy. And I love her personality. I think. Um, who else? I think Summer Walker's dope. And as far as the as far as the guys. Um, who would you say? Who's somebody I've been talking about? I, mean, for the, uh, I was gonna add another girl, Rosalia. Oh yeah, Rosalia. Oh, Rosalia is fire. Fired. Yeah, she's that amazing. Was fire. But like, I, I, I'm a diehard Thug fan. Um, I love, I love Party Next Door, and I love. Uh, I think Roddy Rich is going crazy right now too. Just that whole trap, the trap scene for real. Like the Gunners, the little babies. I like all those guys. So like, I'm always down for any collaboration with those guys. That's what's up. Someone asked, who helped make A24? The A24, A24 was a mixtape I put on SoundCloud in high school. Mm -hmm. It was like a six song mixtape. And like, that was when I was so self-conscious, I took it down off of everything. So like people, people still <laughs> asking for it. Um, it was just me and my engineer, for real, and my, and my homeboy, Alex. Um, he, um, he also helped with August. Like we would just sit in the car, we would have basketball games. And then after the game, we would sit in the car till like 3 a.m. And like build out this mixtape and then just seeing the responses when I had like two thousand followers, that kind of gave me the um confidence to go ahead and make that next project. But uh, yeah, it was just two people I was with that entire time. I was skipping school, trying to trying to go to the <laughs> studio and finish that project. But I appreciate that project a lot, even though I took it down just because um it inspired all the stuff everyone loves for me today. I feel that. I feel that. Someone yeah. asked your favorite album of all time. Of all time, I say it's between even over the OG album. I was, I would say Good Kid, Mad City is the greatest album of all time for me. For for you, you hear me? Yeah. You hear me? No, Good. I think yeah. I think Good Kid, Mad City yeah, is the greatest. Yeah, I can hear greatest. you. Sorry, somebody. I was getting a call. Oh no, that's cool. Yeah, Good Kid, Mad City for sure. Just cause um, it just exposed me to a lot of stuff as a as a kid. Like just being like, especially being in that peer pressure age, 
I was always hanging around like older guys in college who would like just do wild things and I'll be the youngest like and just seeing certain things go down I think that I don't, maybe it's just because it touches me personally but I think Good Kid yeah. Matt City's up there I think Channel Orange is up there because that's what's really got me into um um even though like the, this rap wave and like the trends that are going on I, every time I listen to Channel Orange it's like okay real music is okay you know like certain instruments yeah. are okay the way he brought in certain people to you to make that album, I like that a lot. And then I gotta say, between those two, it's probably Good Kid. Yeah, Good Kid, Man City for sure. It's a classic. It's classic. A classic, classic. Is that, your favorite, like, like, is that your favorite Kendrick album? Is that your favorite Kendrick album? Um, I feel like for sure, album Good Kid, Man City is my favorite Kendrick album. But I think his best project would be Section Eighty. Like, yeah, of course. No, no, no. Of course, you can't go wrong with that. I think, yeah, but out, studio, studio album-wise, I think Good Kid is, is number one. I would put that over any album, personally. Definitely. The storytelling is just, like, phenomenal. Yeah, that's 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 what inspired me with a lot of my music, the storytelling. Like, I'm never related to something more than that. So, yeah, storytelling, for sure. I feel that. I feel that. Someone asked her, do you plan to work with Brent Baez? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, it was so crazy. I want to say a year ago... Um, I was in New York during Grammy weekend. It wasn't for me. I think uh, Bryson was at the Grammys, but I was there. And I was listening to him. That was when I first got put on to him. And then I was um, I was outside somewhere in the most random location. He walked right past me. Crazy. Like, <laughs> now I was like, I never talked to him or anything like that. But it was just like, I always remember that. I'm like, that was that was meant to be. Something like that. I don't know. I wanted to, I wanted to be a fan and tap him, but I was like, no, nah, I don't have to. <laughs> It'll happen whenever, and like his his boys were looking at me crazy, like I was like some fan. I was like, no, nah. <laughs> but yeah, Brent Fires for sure. That's that's easy. I definitely work with him any day. For sure, for sure. Someone said that they're waiting on that six lap feature. Oh, black! Uh, black. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Black's a dope artist. <laughs> yeah, I like black a lot. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Um, another question. They said. What are your top, who are your top three favorite artists? Um, of, all, of all time or who I'm listening to right now? Of all times. Uh, ooh, that's a hard one. I have to say Kendrick is in there for sure. I think Kendrick is, is up there. I would say, um, I would say, I want to put Lauren Hill in there just because that's like, I've been listening to her since I was born but like maybe Kent between Kendrick I don't know it's just Kendrick Cole and Drake for real yeah like that, that I'm 21 you know that's the guys I came up on so I want to see him and say like any anybody else that I wasn't but those are the guys I listen to the most who really helped me mold myself so yeah those, I think those three guys for sure really? Lauren Hill's up there too definitely definitely mm -hmm. so if we're still in this quarantine 2021 yeah Will you consider like doing a tour on live? Like, how do you? Yeah. How do you I listen? think I think it'll be a mixture of me coming up with my own ideas and then also seeing what other good artists are doing, different ideas they're doing. I haven't thought that far myself, but my I, my team's always thinking about that. We were just talking about that today, like, but it's really like I can't even say. It's just how you know we got to see where it is. I'm trying to keep my hopes up, open. Just how these. NBA players are like, I need, I need to get back on the road. But then you see people like Billie Eilish, she just canceled her tour today. I yeah. think and it's just like those things hurt. It's like, yeah, damn, sure. you know? So it's like, but I think, um, I think there'll definitely be ideas that come from myself and just like being inspired by everybody else, seeing what they do. But for sure, I, I'm definitely going to put something together live, regardless of whatever it is. I feel that, I feel that. Is a, mm -hmm. a quarantine music video on the way? Oh, of course. A couple of them, actually. Okay. I, I want to say like two two or three probably. Um, like I said, this summer, it's just I'm just gearing up, this finishing up this month, and then the summertime, it's a go. Yeah. yeah. I feel that. So what's the creative process in like making a song for you? Um, It just depends. So it's just, it's usually just two ways I go about it, whether it's a, I go in with a story I need to get off my chest. Sometimes I have stories that I can't even finish because I haven't experience the rest of it yet mm -hmm. so like it's just a mixture of um i think frank ocean does it best too where like i think artists are lying if they tell you every story is 100 percent real like i'll take i definitely take stories on my own and also take like just 
storytelling, you know, making it something I want it to be or something that um, I wish it was, whether it's with a girl or, um, and some of them are real to the core, like from front to end, but it's just um, either coming in with a story or um, whether the, the beat just gives me something I could do on the spot, you know, but um, it's, it's, it's really one of those. If it's not that, then I'm probably not making a song for it, yeah. People mm -hmm. are asking about merch. Are you dropping merch? Is that yeah, of course. Merch? I got I got a couple different things. That is crazy. All these questions are conversations I've had today. <laughs> um, yeah, no, mer merch for sure. I'm a hoodie guy, but I know I'm going to have, like, some stuff for the summer coming up. And then, um, yeah, I think this, this year will probably be the most merch I've ever dropped. I dropped, like, one piece of merch last year for, like, my day ones. But, like, coming up, I'm going to have, like, a lot of pieces that will be the most I dropped for sure. Mm -hmm. So how have you been able to like connect with your fans at this time or your supporters at this time? Like, um, the, I stay off the gram for real when I'm working just because mm -hmm. um, it's just I think it's a distraction. I mean, even though social media is great, I just think it's a distraction personally. Mm -hmm. But as far as posting or going on live for real or um, but I do reply to like as many DMs as I can when people hit me. Like um, I respond to like any stories I see, anybody tagging me in a post. Um, I really want to get back on the SoundCloud waves one day and just be able to drop stuff in between time I'm working. But yeah, just staying active in the DMs, like liking tweets when I see them, just, you know, um, giving love back to her, showing love right now. Yeah, uh, yeah for mm -hmm. sure, for sure. I know, yeah, I know yeah. I feel like there's some type of um, disconnection because we can't yeah. go, like, go on, go exactly. to the doctor or go and, like, see you somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah it's, it's definitely a disconnect in a... And that, that's that just sucks the most. I mean, can I curse? I mean, I curse. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, good. but no, nah, that that's, that good. sucks the most just because um, I'm I'm just as anxious to see them as they want to see me. Like I know how that feels. Even my favorite artists are canceling tours, and they're off the gram right now. So like I get it. So I'm just trying to stay active in the you know in my mentions as yeah. much as I can. I feel that. I feel that. You mentioned SoundCloud. Why SoundCloud? It's just it's. I think it has the most. I think Spotify, Apple, Amazon, all these platforms are great but just soundcloud will always be like the most organic you know just um i even think um because they were about to shut down for a minute and then they came back and just like that was the best way to discover artists was the soundcloud and just like that's how i started to see my first numbers and stuff i think soundcloud is just like the grandfather of just any type of like discovery for real um even when like uh, XXL was just the main thing people would see. Okay, who's up next? SoundCloud is where you find the gems. Right. So um, even when I see my favorite artists drop on SoundCloud today, it just gives me that that um, like that vintage, that nostalgic feeling, you know, right. when they drop. So I want to get back to that for sure. Sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like engineering is important to your sound? Of course, man. My even my engineer is with me right now. Like this, like my brother, you know. So um, I think what a lot of artists should realize is like that personal relationship can take your music from here to here mm -hmm. because there won't be any awkward conversations. I, he can tell me this song sucks. You need to scratch it, start over it. And I could tell him, yo, this mix was terrible and it will make a perfect whatever out of that. You know, like it's just that constructive criticism, right. you know, that, um, and then I've been, when I was coming up, there were certain engineers I tried and it's just like, Artists are very self-conscious. You know, you don't want to try that new note that you've never tried before with an engineer you just mm -hmm. met. You know, or you don't want to um, say how you really feel about the mix and sit with somebody for hours. So, like, I think having that personal relationship is important. For sure. You know, we have the crib right now. He, my engineer been with me for two months, like, just in the house, just That's working. That's what's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we got the whole studio set. That's really been all it is for her. That's awesome. That's awesome. People are asking about the double XL, like, Double XL freshman. Yeah, yeah. I'm always, I'm always down. I mean, like, um, that's some, an, that's another thing. Like, I grew up on. That'd always be a blessing to be mm -hmm. on. Like, I feel like I go toe to toe with anybody. It's just, um, but I think that's something like it's gotta want me to do. It's not something I'm like, I'm not really pressed to do anything. I know the music will make, will take me as far as I want to go. Whatever opportunity that may be. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Do you feel like there's certain like accolades you need to reach to feel like okay, like I could kind of relax? <laughs> um, I think it's a 
it's a want that every new artist wants, but then you know, you I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would say yeah. Like I just I think it's just like that self you know, I don't I don't know. It's, I would say um even like <clears throat> so, sorry, the BET awards, then the MTV awards, and then the Grammys, I think just the the coolest thing you're seeing like um Tyler the Creator, for example, mm -hmm. especially with his personality is so different. And then seeing him go from where people were saying he'd never win anything mm -hmm. and then seeing him win these awards and then finally win a Grammy. I think those accolades are just um, just pictures, like just big milestones that are very important. So, yeah, I would say any award is like I strive for all of those, of course. For sure, for sure. And yeah. then what is the story behind E30? Um, E30 was I was in Miami. That was the first time. Um, I was out there with I was out there with Bryson. That was the first time like I've been in the house with just a bunch of artists and producers. We had Wanda out there, finals, and that was the first time I got to see just these big legends just work in the same room. And um there was like this E thirty, Bryson used to have me the beamer. Bryson let me drive around Miami. And now it's like some you know, I'm in St. Louis, like we don't have no palm trees, crazy stuff. It's a small right. it's a small town, but like um just that car was just very inspiring. Like seeing it was just blood red it was dope and um i think i play i was playing beats in that car and i just heard that beat while i was in the car and i just started driving them around like you know that's how i wrote it for i wrote it in the car that's crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's crazy i feel like you talked about like creating in the car when you were in high school and then mm -hmm. riding in the car is that like that is that your hub is that where you feel like you're most you're most creative um, I think it will be, <clears throat> sorry, for the next, uh, for the next, this project, and then I think I'll get away from it and um, figure out a new zone to get in. Like, I want to go, like, to, like, the mountains somewhere. Kanye does it best. He's in a new location every right. other album. But <laughs> I think that, yeah, man, this guy was in the mountains with llamas and alpacas, all that crazy stuff. That was dope. But, like, uh, the car, damn, you just, you just made me realize that. It has been, like, a car type of thing like a sequel mm -hmm. of cars but um i'm definitely gonna break away from it. i feel like this is a series right now and then um i want to go on to the next thing see where else i can get experiences from inspiration but the car is just like being in the house with my parents not being able to blast music super loud that was where i went you know being yeah. able to drive around especially i started writing when i was 18 17 you first get your license you want to you don't even want to be in the house like right even, even now like um that Beamer was just like, that was the first cool car I ever got to drive in. Like, yeah, that's the cars are something for sure. But it, I don't think I'll do that for every album. I think this would be the last one for a minute where it's very car based, you know? I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. That's it. We're running out of time. It's like, coming uh, of course. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's all good. No, I appreciate but you for real. We appreciate your time. We definitely going to link back up after yeah. the project drop. Of course. Um, talk again thank you so much of course you got to be safe out here yes. Wait, one, one, stay one, safe wash one, your hands one question though